there's few things I hate more as a golfer than these embarrassing shots. You know how it feels, you just wish that that divot was big enough that you could uh, disappear in it. It is so embarrassing. Now, here's the interesting thing. Generally, what precedes the embarrassing shot is a lack of focus about what we want. In fact, there's a distinct focus on the very thing we don't want. And that's the basis of this little advice I'd like to give you here now, is to help you to get your focus back to something that's gonna be useful to you. Now, it'd be very easy to say, well, yo, I got distracted, my focus was very much on, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't hit it in the bunker, and of course, that's exactly what happens. Now, some of you may well be able to just simply say, well, I'll focus on what I do want. I'll focus on the shot, flying nicely over the bunker next to the flag. I'll focus on having a lovely swing, finishing nice in my finished position. Great if you can do that, fantastic. If it works for you, go ahead and do it because there's no doubt that's gonna work. For some of you, and this could be relevant for any of you anyway, for some of you, you'll feel that you'll get very distracted. Your mind becomes very busy. You simply cannot control your focus. And so what I'm gonna do here is give you a quick bit of advice for something you can do. It's a simple exercise. I call it the one-two exercise. It really came from Timothy Galway's in a game of golf. And all you simply do is you focus on the club head that he's swinging. You don't try and control it, you don't stop it, you don't try and do anything particularly with it. You just focus on it. And when it gets to the end of its movement going back, you simply say to yourself, one. When it gets to the point where it connects with the ball, you say number two, and that's it. That is the full extent of that lesson. Now, the idea of it is this. It takes that busy mind, that busy mind that's distracted, thinking about all the things that can go wrong, and focus on something real, something that's actually gonna happen, which is that golf club just swinging. So all you do, practice it a couple of times and just say it out loud to you when you're on your own initially. You may not want to say it out loud when you're playing with others because they might think, gone a bit nuts. But anyway, you can do it inside your head. And by the way, I've had European tour players use this inside their head and win a lot of money doing this tip. So it works for every level of golfer. But here you do, you simply let the club head swing. One, two. One, two. And just absorb your focus into that club head Stop worrying about everything else. Just focus on that. Don't worry if the shot goes too far, too short. Just simply set up. Focus on that swinging club head. One, two. Wasn't the best shot actually, but it's on the green, not too far away from the flag. You see, I managed to block out enough other focus. Focus on that swinging club head. I had a reference point. One, when it finished going back. Two, when it struck the ball. That was enough to keep my mind attentive to that one thing, which meant my mind was not thinking about the things I didn't want it to do. It can apply to every area of the game, this from putting all the way through to driving. So if you find yourself getting caught up on some embarrassing shots sometimes that really upset you, you probably find preceding that, you was focusing on the things you didn't want to do. So if your mind feels busy, try that technique, and I promise you, you'll get some great results.